first thing first guys i want to appeal to you i want to beg you guys see this is my second time of making this video i sat down for 55 minutes and i spoke and no it's not what you're thinking i was recording but guys i like my face was not showing it wasn't focused you know i used the cinematic um settings on my phone and everything was just blurred so guys i'm appealing to you if you've never watched my video to the end before please sit tight i i can assure you you will enjoy this one sit tight watch this video please share share to newcomers coming to canada share to people already in canada this is actually a video you need to watch if you live in canada you're coming over to canada there's so much to learn from this video and like i said this is the second time please so compensate me by liking by commenting if you've lived in canada for so long and you've had similar experience please share in the comments let's just bring awareness to this topic because we need to it needs to we need to talk about it guys we really need to talk about it so let's go right into the video my experience with three canadian landlords <laughs> like in the space of two years see my eyes have seen it, the hands of landlords in canada and you've wondered why we've moved houses so many times in canada within the space of two years you'll see the video uh just check my old videos so i won't be going into the details but let me tell you my experience with the landlords here guys it's different and one thing is uh we're coming especially if you're coming from nigeria where i came from where normally we see we see things as wear and tear <laughs> i remember in my uni days when i used to move out because i lived off campus and i'm moving out i don't care like i'm leaving the house anyhow the only thing is that i'm leaving at the days you want me to leave but here guys you will learn <laughs> i'm gonna tell you my experience and everything so let's go right into the video so the first apartment we leave which was a basement apartment i've told our story about this and we're so excited that we actually at least got an apartment before coming to canada because we, when we came in it was outright shock that it was really really small <laughs> it was small from what we're seeing in the video it was really really small right now i'm beginning to go back into the old video and i don't want to i don't want to go into the old video so you already know the OGs. we had to leave at about five months the agreement is to give one month notice before leaving so that people can come check and there is no gap between us leaving and someone coming in again so it doesn't have it does not have to lose one month rent, right so we gave the one month notice to the landlord and before i go into all of these details guys this video i mean no harm to anyone which i which, I still have like cordial relationship with some of them and this is not to maybe uh like portray anyone as bad in fact in this video i'll be sharing what i think we should have done better to as tenants what i think maybe what system i think would help in canada also because see this security deposit stay there i'm going there anyway but i'm going to also be sharing what i think we should have done better uh i'm not just painting someone as bad or i'm not painting someone that it's it's actually common from what i've heard from people i've had a lot of stories and even me sharing my own story it's not about me painting someone bad no one is really bad really sometimes it's just a system that just changes us too you know you just adapt to what other people are doing you get what i'm saying so this is not to bash anyone this is totally sharing my experience so that you can learn and any other person coming in can learn and just know how to guide against this uh what we experience because guys it wasn't a good one so guys when it was one month before we moved when it was one month for us to leave this, uh, the landlord started bringing people to come and view the house so, um started bringing in people to view and there was one thing that was common like you're bringing in someone to view and then you're coming in maybe you're just telling us oh i'm bringing in someone maybe today i'm bringing in someone maybe at 1 p.m bringing in someone by 3 p.m and it wasn't really like we're not vibing with that that was not even the issue then there was one night there was one night guys uh he had sent the landlord had sent the message that oh the viewers are coming over tomorrow and they're coming in and me had to ask that's my husband what time there was no response that night it was at about 8 p.m if you know us me Miwa, my baby like all of us as a family even before we had our baby there's one common thing that both of us had and we still have is that we will sleep very well on friday night till the next morning like i'm not gonna be waking up at 7 a.m 8 a.m on saturday morning why 
if not until right now that i started working on saturday like it's just that time for me to you know it's just that time for us to relax we've worked mondays to fridays why do i have to be waking up at 5 a.m 7 a.m 8 a.m on saturday morning right and that was one of the reasons why we asked for the time and there was no response so it was in the morning we were sleeping and it was uh we we're sleeping and, and then i woke up i saw that Muya was awake and then he said you won't believe that the landlord brought someone into our house while we were sleeping guys <laughs> and i was like how why fine he has an extra key and then also he has the right to enter if maybe we're not answering or all of those things right but i'm gonna just see what happened so he said i said what happened why will he bring someone into our house while we're asleep this house this apartment is a basement apartment there is a living room and there is one bedroom they didn't enter the bedroom right so i didn't even know me i was sleeping see my saturday morning sleep is usually very good guys he said they didn't come to the room but he was hearing the, their voices and then they had chatted him up and then looked at the chat so apparently he had called at about maybe 7 50 something and he said oh, oh about 7 30 guys and he told me i sent him a message to me rather one of the viewers is coming at 8 a.m to view the apartment and obviously we were sleeping me i didn't get that message and i think at almost 8 a.m also he tried to call there was no response obviously we were sleeping and at 8 oh i'm just gonna check here because i have it just one moment i don't want to say something that is wrong so at about 8 or 2 he came into the apartment when there was no response from Mira. he opened the door came into the apartment and that was when Mira woke up so that's how we knew that it was about that time <laughs> me i'm a deep sleeper he's not much of a deep sleeper compared to me so he had someone opening like car door and he was scared and then they came in they didn't come to the room he was hearing all of their conversation but he didn't come out of the room because he was even angry and also like how like why would you bring someone into my into my house while we're sleeping in the morning at 8 a.m on saturday morning right so they they checked everywhere and then they left at uh so they left at about 8 13 and you know what the landlord did at 8 13 when he was about leaving he now sent in a message and said i am coming to view for renters when he was about leaving and thank god me while i was awake at then and he just sent in a message and said oh i uh i saw that you already brought an individual so don't don't claim as if you are just coming in you already brought the person and then you realize that oh maybe i should have notified i'm coming in you know if you are coming in you have to notify right and when you are told me honestly i was dumbfounded like we have just one room and a living room in the living room there is this small mat i could have been sleeping there because i normally sleep there i could have been naked our credit card, my, my credit card, I'm not sure if it was on, was on the table. Like, I was just so angry. Like, how? You were the one that didn't give us the time before coming in. We asked for the time a night before. You didn't give us the time. And then because you called, we didn't respond. Obviously, we're sleeping because you didn't give us the time. If you had given us the time, probably maybe set an alarm or just be at the last that, oh, these people are coming in and then maybe prepare the, the space, keep our valuable things. Like, I was so angry. And then I was outside and were very close with the wife. Uh, she saw me and she was, she was greeting me. I couldn't hold it anymore. And I had to tell her that, you know what? I'm really angry. I am angry with your husband, which is so wrong, guys. The, the wife has nothing to do. That was wrong on my own side. But I was really, because my credit card was on that table, guys. Anything could have happened. It's just so easy for you to take a picture. Like, you can buy anything. You don't even need my pin. So I was really, really angry. What if I was naked and then you met me naked? What would have happened? So I, I was just venting and I asked them, oh, I, I didn't really like what your husband did, blah, blah, blah. I vented and all of that. And I think she told her husband and that was where the whole silent treatment started. So when we were about leaving, um, the day we were about leaving, it was in November, the last day in November, pretty cold. And then Miwa, Miwa and the landlord went to check the house. We were in the car, myself and Damien, we were in the car. Came, he was, he was saying, ha, that you won't believe what this guy is saying. He's really angry. Uh, he said we that the mirror, why didn't we tell him about the mirror? So there is this mirror in the, in the washroom. And if one, one time he fell and then we fixed it back. You know all this, um, I don't know, should I, should I call it gone? Like this command glue for putting mirrors and frame 
so that was what they used for that for that washroom mirror and then it started falling and then i just told Mira, you know what it's better for us to just keep this thing safely and we kept it right beside the washer let's just keep it safely when whenever we're leaving you will come and fix it himself right and put it back or get another gum i think yes we actually bought another gum we bought another one and the thing fell down again so we just said you know what i don't want this thing to break let's keep it safely somewhere and he was really angry i told you guys if anything happens you should tell me that was that was my husband reporting to me like he was really angry and then also when we we're packing a part of the staircase you know how the wooden uh you know it's usually glued like the staircase it has like i don't know how to explain but a part at falling off and he was telling me i see this thing you guys didn't do it but okay you know what it was just when we were moving this happened i'm going to go get glue i'm going to glue it down and then he said oh the fridge also you didn't clean the fridge well i can see that you did every other thing and yes it was right the fridge wasn't well clean like it's not like it's dirty but you could see that you know the way you do move out cleaning the fridge was not clean and why i was really really tired and like I mentioned, the whole experience we had initially had really, I was really angry. And then when we moved in, and that's one mistake, when we moved in, it wasn't like the fridge was clean. The upper cabinets were really dirty. In fact, I remember him telling us that, oh, I'm so sorry, my wife is not so tall and her hands couldn't reach the upper cabinets. And then even the fridge, I was taking out like, uh, I saw chicken from the fridge. I took it out. There were so many things that was like, the house was not clean clean right and then so when i was leaving i'm like you know what i'm tired after all the food was not even clean when we moved in right and that was a big mistake so one thing is um having moved to like a condo apartment and i saw like the way the management thing works smoothly compared to like private landlords which all of my story here is about private landlords like like individual landlords you know you having an apartment you renting out to your basement and all of that so when we're moving in of course we're coming in from nigeria we had no experience all of those things should have been properly documented like taking pictures you know just documenting it and letting the landlord know but we're just you know what like it doesn't matter whether you're coming in or you're moving into an apartment like document send it as email to the landlord let him know that this was how you met the apartment so that when you're leaving if you leave it at that state there won't be any complaint because you know what that security deposit guys is very important and yeah, it's very important especially if you're just coming in every dollar every money counts like we we already had a plan for our security deposit what we're going to use this for we already had the plan for it so guys in any way it was just it was complaining why we're even going like when we're going to the new place, it, was, it still called me. I was just complaining. You know what? I'm going. I'm going to come clean the fridge. I will go get. I will go to Walmart to get the gum, and to, so I can fix the um, the uh, mirror. If that is what you're complaining about, right? There's no no problem. I will get a glue for the mirror. I'll get a glue for the staircase, and also come and clean the fridge. And. <laughs> So anyway, we got to the new apartment. This was around like 8 p.m., guys. Mira went at night, went to get all of these things in Walmart, came back to the old apartment. That's the where we had left, and he was calling. It was outside in the thick of winter, like it was. It was so cold. He rang the bell, called. They had, they had changed the code, so he couldn't even gain access to the house, and like it wasn't like we had find like fully handed over because we still had some things even at the um, garage and he also told him i'm coming back to fix all of these things right he had changed the code he was not answering for like 30 minutes my darling husband was outside and then he came back he was just like this guy didn't peek he didn't even answer no one answered i rang rang the bell and then now our older friend that um i told you got the apartment for us before we moved down court and he said oh i've been speaking to this landlord and the guy is really angry and then he's saying so many things i even told him that Mua was calling or Mua was outside so he knew Mua was outside and he said he was not going to open the door and like he knew that he was outside but he refused to open the door why our rent was still running because technically our rent was still running because it was still that day anyway we didn't say anything and we we're just waiting like what's the next thing what's the next thing? and me was really frustrated because i'm not going to lie to you guys 
at that period we needed that security deposit and we knew that that was what he was going to end up saying right that oh i'm going to use your security deposit to fix everything after we had bought all of these things after he sent in a message to me and i'm going to read the message when you called me i was talking with blah 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 like that's how I, he was talking with our older friend right and a new code has already been given to the new renter we we were going to hire a professional to do for us to meet the basic standard upon consent of the new coming renter wishing you all the best and then uh whatever deposit is left after putting it on that standard that was when i knew that no 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 we're not going to see let go of this thing like like it's not possible so so what if we just say oh you used all of the security deposit to fix all of these things so whatever is left it's not like we're even saying oh you guys can come in like this thing can be fixed in 30 minutes less than 30 minutes the fridge how many minutes do you use to clean fridge right you know how if you're new everybody we we we, we told some people to about the whole thing and you know what let's just let's just let him slide but I, whatever he gives you just just go with it like it's common here this is what happens especially when you're just coming in new uh like you know you two you, you've learned something going forward you know how to handle issues like that and all of that we both know that we need this money even if it's going to be okay this is the amount i'm going to use just even tell us it's not like you're saying whatever is left like so if nothing is left nothing is left anyway we now sent a message so, i landlord my my rent is still running until midnight if you hire a professional to fix the mirror because that was the things he was complaining about right to fix you know how you just glue mirror and he said he was going to hire professionals so if you hire a professional to fix the mirror and clean the fridge that's on you and not on my deposit because I told you i was willing to fix it which i came back to do which i came back to do and get some cartons i forgot inside the house but i couldn't gain access at as at 10 34 pm today and you refused to take my calls i waited outside for over 30 minutes i waited outside for over 30 minutes to no avail i'm not sure that is fair i also remembered vividly that that i had to clean the fridge and do some housekeeping when i came in but i was willing to keep the house without blemish just to save my security deposit so we were responded I immediately he called and started saying you know what i'm going to give you all your security deposits i know you are you're new here I already know that from that message these people know what they are doing and they know it's very well so i cannot just i cannot just act anyhow right and then he called he spoke for so many times i was even saying no and then hey, even your wife i don't even want to talk i knew that there was already a beef anyway that was how we were able to save our food security deposits and then we moved to a new apartment and we had this so so like this landlord was just you know when you say no wahala landlord like he had no problem no issue and then we had also learned our lesson from the previous experience if anything happens in the house we're calling the landlord right immediately please come fix it and he will come and fix it you just say are you okay is he even going to ask like are you okay with this or do you need anything like it was just so fantastic and then he had to sell the house and then he sold it to the new landlord that extended our rent for a while and then told us to leave like i had told all of this story before so i don't want to go deep into it right and then when we we're about leaving hmm, another face guys <laughs> when we we're about leaving guys so because we had also learned so many things on the way you know we hired a professional cleaner this time like i'm not going to stress myself i don't even, so i don't even get tired and say you know i'm not going to do this right we had a professional cleaner we used this recommendation it was one that the land was one that recommended the professional cleaner we spent close to 400 dollars guys to clean the house like there was literally if i say no blemish the house was sparking if we're supposed to move in on the last day but because the movers i think they disappointed they came in late we had to tell the cleaners that we couldn't do the clean the same day and lana was like no it's okay and he was able to tell us i remember he was able to tell us that you know what don't do it the same day it's not a good idea the, the the cleaners can come in the next day we said okay fine thank you at least that means like it's giving us one day right <laughs> and the cleaners can come in the next day you having movers and it was the one giving us the idea like and also when we're moving to because it's a condo they said you cannot move in until even 12 pm and that you cannot move in earlier you can't even pay we're even like let's pay like one day or so they say no it doesn't work that way so like and Lama was able to say do you think you can do it cleaning the house and also moving at the same day that it's not going to that he doesn't think is a good idea so we told the cleaners you know what come the next day it was even the landlord that encouraged us right 
So when we got to the new place, and then at night, Miwa got the text message from the cleaner, and he said one of the cleaners had gotten an injury, and they're not going to make it that next day, which was a Wednesday, and that the earliest they can make it is on a Thursday, which was like, that means like two days later than the day we're supposed to like do the fully handing over, right? So we were the first thing in the morning, like he sent, just forwarded that message to him. And like I mentioned, this was a cleaner that was recommended by the landlord. So it was just, like I even asked him, you know what, we're not even going to find someone. Let's just use his recommendation, right? So it was even, it's, it's not like, we're not even, we're, even if we try to find someone to clean that same day, I'm not sure we could even get that same day, right? So we just said we needed to wait till Thursday um, for the cleaners to come in. So Thursday, they came in, they cleaned. We had this eater that we used in the former apartment. So it was two, you know, this eater that you just use. So it couldn't fit in into Miwa's car. And he had told his friend that, please, when I'm coming from work, and that was like real handing over, right? On that Thursday after the cleaning, he was going to check around as well with Miwa. When I'm coming, please uh, come join me so that you can help me. And then we're also keeping it at their place. Before Miwa could even go to the apartment, he received a call from the landlord and he said, oh, I can't, I'm very busy. And right now, thinking about it, Hmm. hmm, was he really busy? Anyway, I don't know. But then he just said, oh, I'm very busy today. We cannot do the handing over, handling over today. I'm very busy. I'm not, and I'm not available until Saturday. Okay, now, since you said you are not available until Saturday, we don't have any other choice until we to Saturday, right? So on Saturday, a good enough, we're also going to our friend's place. So my, I was also in the car with Damisi and we went there and then over the key checked everywhere like you <laughs> checked everywhere told us to sign some document like I was even saying he was going to contact the former landlord okay there was this there was this door issue that we had even met when we came into in fact the old tenant told us about it the landlord was aware and when he said oh this door is not doesn't close well or something i said you know what this was what we meant you can also ask the landlord we gave him the old contact the the landlord's contact like he was checking everywhere you know when you're like intentionally finding something and then when we were about leaving we had called our friend that same saturday that he should come and help us to pick uh the eater but he said he was not available and then we were said you know what so, you know we've been having like their cordial relationship and the thing is because the house was not they were not they were not it's not like they were renting the apartment i mentioned in the old video like they wanted to use that apartment for like a day or so it wasn't like someone was coming in like right immediately so Muiwa was telling the landlord that can i come pick this so Muiwa was asking him that can i come pick this thing like tomorrow and immediately i said no Muiwa, we'll find we'll find a way to fit this thing we're not leaving anything behind like and guys god saved us or more and he was already saying no no problem just call me before you come pick it up let me just know so that i will be available thank god we handed over and we picked in our things and we forced it inside the car and then we went to drop it at our friend's place and then after so many days so many days later and i think we were got the security deposit and it was not the full amount and then he had to send it i think he sent him an email like ah the how far why is my security deposit not complete right and he had said, oh, because uh, of the days you, like, before, you know, you had stayed maybe like four days before doing the handing over. So he calculated the four days. And then I said, ah. but you know that I wanted to come on Thursday, right? That was the second day to do it. You were the one that said you were not available. And he said, we still had our property, guys. So he said, because we had the eater in that house till the last day that we handed over like guys and you need to see how he was telling us oh, it's okay it's fine and really we didn't even fight it because you know what bygone should be bygone like, one is just trying to ensure that they're not giving the full deposit right but then i feel like it wasn't it wasn't in good faith like if you want to do something it's okay you, should, you can say it's okay but I'll, you know what i'll be charging you daily that's just the fair thing to do like even the first day you are even the one that told us that we should not do the cleaning and the moving the same day is no good and then you ended up charging us for all of those days so that was our experience so that's my experience with landlords in canada like, i feel like that's like the common thing here and then i was talking to my friend one day i was talking to my friend who is in the uk and i was i was explaining my experience i was like ah that no, we don't that the security deposit is not usually with the landlord in the UK. Like there is like the government uh, scheme that 
save the money like the landlord must keep the money with the government like there is a body responsible for keeping the security deposit so it's not with the landlord i'm like wow and when you look down at the system here yeah, i really don't blame the landlords so so because they already have the money they compared to the uk where you can you you can't even keep the money with you here like landlords will take the money and some will even spend it i remember one of my friends telling me that a landlord like said it with his full chest that he was was waiting for his payroll before he could pay them the security deposit like <laughs> i don't even want to go to any legal mini or anything like how dare you like confidently tell your tenants you're waiting so that means you you're saying it's confident that you spent the security deposit and when you look down so that's why you see that everyone is just trying to find one error one mistake one thing i feel like if we have that kind of law also in canada or even if we have, if it's enforced, because obviously, even if we have it, it's not enforced because it's not what is happening, right? I feel like it will it will reduce the amount of back and forth with security deposits. If you are coming, be prepared. One thing I will say is that if you're renting a new apartment, once you're coming, and that's what happened when we moved to the, to to condo to the condo apartment, right? Like they even gave us like forty eight hours to check. If you notice anything, we did a uh, walkthrough together with the manager. And after that, she gave us 48 hours to still check if you notice anything, send a picture, send it by email. So everything was filed and tracked. Even if I have, I become a landlord one day in Canada, right? That's one of the standards I'm going to, even though I'm an individual landlord, right? That's the one of the standards. Like, we're going to do a walkthrough together. You're going to maybe give you like 48 hours, take pictures, send it to me. So that when you're leaving, you know you're going to leave it the exact way you came in. <laughs> which somewhere is still different from where i'm coming from right but at least if it's like that everybody will know that okay this is this is my fault right i know so i'm going to lose some money anyway that's our that's my story and i feel like it's it's not new but if you're coming just just know because <laughs> and one of the best things also you know that don't depend on security deposits don't don't depend on it at all just know that anything can happen anything like we didn't even expect that we we're going to lose one dollar from the last one but we did thank you so much for watching i just thought i should share this gist i hope you're able to learn please share your experience the water experience in that thing thank you so much see you guys another day another time bye